Are you set free today? Have you been liberated by Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer, the Healer? Hallelujah. He is the Deliverer of mankind. And this is Palm Sunday. And right now, we say, we love you, Jesus. We Say it with me. We adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All hail, King Jesus. All hail, King Jesus. All hail, Emmanuel. They begin to sing and praise him. Hallelujah. The king is coming. The king is coming. And they begin to throw down their palm branches for him to walk upon in the name of Jesus. Well, I tell you today that we are going to, he's going to manifest himself in this video today in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you for viewing and being with me today. Uh, thank you for your comments. I praise the name of the Lord. All over the world, uh, they're waiting for the return of Jesus. Hallelujah. Into Jerusalem. Into the church. Hallelujah. Into the body of Christ. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Let's pray together today before we get into the word. And the title of this message today is Liberty for the Captives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit today. Oh, manifest yourself and demonstrate your power uh, to the people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and speak to us today. Guide us, lead us, oh, hallelujah, into all uh, of the wonderful glory of God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious name, we give you liberty today to come and speak to us. We have ears to hear what the Spirit would say unto us today. And we have a heart to receive today in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I'm excited about this word today. And and when I woke up this morning... Um, I had a vision um, of the country of Ukraine. And so I speak to you today by the Spirit of God. I had a vision and then the word of the Lord came to me for the Ukrainian people. Please hear what the Spirit would say unto you. What I saw uh, was that there was a uh, an army that had camped about um the Ukrainian country, and, and it was bringing torment and turmoil uh, to that country. But then all of a sudden, there was a light in the sky. I saw it very clearly. It was like a meteorite, and it was, it was bright, and it was glowing, and it was coming uh, toward that country in the name of Jesus. And I knew that it was the hand of the Lord in my vision. I knew uh, that God uh, was, was bringing this forth in Jesus' name, and I saw uh, this, this light. Uh, hit this country, uh, the Ukraine, uh, in the name of Jesus, and it burst, uh, burst forth, and there were there were fires that were started all over the country, and I said, Lord, what is this? What am I seeing? And the Lord says that He was raising up. Uh, those intercessors all over the country of Ukraine and they were rising up and rising up and rising up and the fire uh, was all over that country. The fire of God is all over that country. Hallelujah. Pushing back the evil, pushing back the strongholds uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then the word of the Lord came to me. And I speak to you this day, and I say that be not dismayed, and be not discouraged, and do not turn back, but go forward with confidence, go forward with boldness, go forward with the plan of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, because he says, I have defeated, I have 
defeated your enemies and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And I say that you will rise up out of the ashes, that you will rise up a strong nation that believes in me, that works for me, that has the kingdom of God inside its borders. I say to you, do not give up. Do not fail, saith the Lord, for I am with you and I will fight with you and I will send my forces uh, to be with you. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. I thank the Lord for what he's doing in this earth. I thank the Lord and we throw down those palm branches uh, to the Lord today. We throw them down and we say, come, come Lord Jesus into your body. Come Lord Jesus into your church. Come and be a mighty force. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord forever. I want to start in Isaiah 61 today. Woo. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I praise you. Lord, let's just give me some praise today. Oh, let's just say Hosanna to the King. Hosanna to the King. Hosanna to the King. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, Hosanna to the King. Can you say it with me? Are you raising your hands? Are you, are you praising Him right now? In the name of Jesus, He's worthy of all of our praise. He's worthy of all the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. I'm going to start in 61 verse 1 of Isaiah. The Spirit, capital S, that means the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Is He upon you? He's upon me today. Hallelujah. He's in me. He's in you. He wants to do mighty things uh, this day in the name of Jesus. Believe with me. Intercessors be praying. Hallelujah. I'm praying for people to come back to the Lord today. Uh, to turn from whatever uh, wickedness they've been involved in. Uh, and turn back to the Lord today in the name of Jesus. Deliverance. He sets the captive free in Jesus' name. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, unto those who will listen. I am sent to those who are hungering and thirsting for righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has delivered me from this present evil world. Galatians 1.4. He has delivered me from unreasonable men and women who do not have faith. Hallelujah. He has delivered me from those types of individuals, but I am sent uh, to the church. I am sent uh, to the body. I am sent to equip and to bring forth uh, those apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Hallelujah. Into this earth today. In the name of Jesus, all over this world today, the Holy Spirit is moving. Can you say amen? He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And that's what I'm doing today. I am proclaiming liberty to you, freedom, uh, hallelujah, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, the God of war, hallelujah, to comfort all those who mourn, all those who grieve, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And there is heaviness on some of you today. I see those, it's like concrete blocks on your shoulders. Oh, ho, ho, shut up, And the Lord is removing those. He's removing, he's setting you free in Jesus' name. And let me go ahead and tell you, there are three points I want you to remember. If you want to be delivered today, if you want to be set free of any type of bondage uh, in the name of Jesus, there's three things that you need to consider today. And that is the truth of the word. I call this the TLC of deliverance. Truth. 
You need to know what the Word of God says because the Word is the truth. Hallelujah. You need to know the truth about the matter. Hallelujah. Number two, you need to receive God's love today. This is the TLC of being delivered from anything that has bothered you, hindered you, caused you to be in chains. And then the third one, remember I said it's the TLC of deliverance. The truth, you must know the truth. You must receive God's love. And number three, you must know about the cross. Remember the cross. Remember what Jesus did on the cross. He died on the cross. He shed his blood on the cross. He delivered you on the cross. Hallelujah. All of salvation was done on Mount Calvary on the cross. TLC of deliverance. The truth, the love of God, and the cross. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He gave me beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He gave me beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of of praise for the spirit of heaviness hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus i want to go into the word today and i want to start in john chapter 4 uh, we see that there is a woman who is bound up hallelujah she's bound up uh she's trapped in her flesh Oh, in Jesus' name, she's been under attack. She's been abused uh, by uh, the women of the of the village that w will not come uh, when she's there to draw water. Uh, they come early morning or in the evening, but they don't come at the noontime. Oh, uh, that's when she goes. That's when the woman uh, that has uh, been... Uh, in adultery, uh, that woman who's been in prostitution, that woman who has been bound up, who has been abused who, uh, by, by others, hallelujah. But then she's trapped in her own flesh. Some people get trapped in their own carnal carnality. They get trapped with their carnal mind. They get trapped in doing carnal things. They get trapped because they they associate with carnal people. Whew. This woman in John chapter 4, Jesus says, I must go through Samaria. In verse 4 of chapter 4, he says, his, his, he sent his disciples on into town to get food, but he said, I must, I must go through Samaria. I've got an assignment. Oh, hallelujah. I love assignments. I love when, when the Lord says, go here, go there. Uh, speak to that person. Speak to that person over there. Oh, hallelujah, because God knows. God knows. And remember those three things that will help deliver you today is the truth, God's love, and the cross. Those three things will not only deliver you today, liberate you today, but it will also keep you free. Hallelujah. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's in John 8, verse 32. You shall know the truth about the matter. You shall know the truth about your family. You shall know the truth about yourself. You shall know the truth about your, your ministry. You shall know the truth uh, about your finances. You shall know the truth about your bodies. Hallelujah. Woo! Praise the name of Jesus. And so we know that Jesus began to minister to her and say, give me to drink. And then he began to talk to her about living water about the Word of God, the, li the living Word, hallelujah. 
In verse 14, But whosoever drinketh of this water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. He is saying, I am bringing deliverance to you. Hallelujah. You know, it comes up in me right now, Acts 10, 38, how Jesus was anointed with uh, the Holy Ghost and power who went by God with the Holy Ghost and power. Oh, hallelujah. And he went about all the villages and he went everywhere. What was he doing? He was healing. He was delivering. Oh, praise the name of Jesus from every disease. I don't care what the, the doctors have said. I don't care what the diagnosis says. The truth of the matter is that by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Know the truth. Receive God's love. And remember the cross. Remember that Jesus took upon himself the sins of the world. He was he was hung on a cross and he took the curse for you. Hallelujah. Cancer is a curse. Diabetes is a curse. Oh, arthritis is a curse. Oh, mental illness is a curse. Let me tell you something. Jesus is our liberator. All hail King Jesus. All hail Emmanuel, King of kings, Lord of lords, bright morning star. And throughout eternity, I want to praise him. And forevermore, he will be the one hallelujah all hail king jesus and that's what they were doing with their palm branches hosanna to the king hosanna to the king that's what they were saying as jesus came into jerusalem hallelujah but don't you want him to come today don't you want him to come uh, through the Spirit of God into your body, into your mind, into your situation, hallelujah, into your family? Uh, don't you want him to come into the governments of the world? Uh, oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! This woman at the well, she received the truth. She received God's love. Hallelujah! And she received the cross even though jesus had not gone to the cross at that time she received deliverance and she went back to the city she went back to the village and she told every man hallelujah and she said i have seen the messiah i have seen the deliverer and he has told me all of my life Come and see. Come and see. He turned her into an evangelist. Hallelujah. Come and see what the Lord is doing. Come and see what he's doing in Africa. Come and see what he's doing in China. Come and see what he's doing uh, in Korea, in the United States, in Canada, in Spain. Oh, what is he doing? Hallelujah. He's bringing liberty to the captives. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in that wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now let's move on. Let's move on to Mark chapter 5. Because there's a man in Mark chapter 5. That he lives in the, in the tombs. And he cuts himself. And he tries to kill himself. And he tries to destroy himself. Someone that is on drugs and alcohol. What are they doing? 
They are destroying themselves. They're living in the tombs. Woo! Come on now. I'm talking about liberty to the captives today. This man that lived in the tombs, that cut himself, that no, no person could restrain him, he was mentally unstable. He was mentally unstable. Let me tell you something. The Lord has delivered bipolar today. A bipolar disorder. Oh, hallelujah. You've been delivered today. You've been delivered from schizophrenia. You've been delivered uh, from, from man uh, depressive uh, depression in the name of Jesus. You have been delivered from any type of mental disorder. The crown of thorns. Remember number three on our list? Uh, TLC, the cross. Remember Jesus wore the crown of thorns and the crown of thorns went into his, into his skull and the blood dripped down upon his face and upon his body. And oh, hallelujah. What was he doing? He was taking your mental illness. He was taking anything that the enemy has tried to put upon you. He has already taken it. He has taken it from you. Receive God's TLC. Receive it today. Receive the truth today. I'm telling you the truth today. Oh, receive. Receive God's love today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, God's love. Receive it. Receive it today. God loves me. God loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says that Jesus came. And in verse 3, there was a man who lived in the tombs. That's in verse 2. And with an unclean spirit. I come against those unclean spirits right now. I come against pornography. I come against lustful spirits. I come against uh, any type of uh, child molestation. I come against any type of sexual abuse uh, in the name of Jesus. These are unclean spirits. Oh, in Jesus' name, look what he did. Oh, and he saw this man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him up, not even with chains, hallelujah. But why? He was already bound up. He had already um, allowed those uh, demonic spirits uh, to come upon him and, and bind him up and cause him to have chains and to be in bondage uh, in the name of Jesus. It says always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus, oh, hallelujah, here comes Jesus. He's coming into the church. He's coming into your body. He's coming into your mind. Woo, hallelujah. We're going to throw those palm branches before him and we're going to say Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. And this man saw Jesus from afar off and he ran and he, he, he bowed down and he worshipped him and cried with a loud voice. This man wanted to be delivered. Do you want to be delivered today or do you want to hang on uh, to your cancer? Do you want to hang on uh, to your arthritis? Do you want to hang on uh, to your muscle aches and pains? Do you want to hang on uh, to all of that garbage? Oh, in Jesus' name, then you hang on to it because it will kill you. I'm just telling you the truth right now. But if you will receive that Jesus Christ is your liberator, that he is your, he is your uh, savior. He is your redeemer. If you will receive the truth today, if you will receive his love today, if you will receive what he did on the cross today, you will be free. 
and whom the Son has set free is free indeed. And let's go on here quickly. It says in verse 8, For he said unto him, Come out of that man, thou unclean spirit. And he says, what is thy name? And he says, my name is Legion, for there are many. And we know that those devils came out. And those devils ran and jumped into those pigs. And the pigs went off the cliff. Hallelujah. Oh, in Jesus' name, uh, Jesus sets those, those demons running. He sets demons running. Hallelujah. If you're still grieving, if you're still mourning, I'm telling you today that you need to give that over to Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. And you need to pick up at yourself and you need to go forward uh, into your purpose and into your destiny because God is saying, you are my worker. You are the one that I have chosen. Uh, to do the work of the kingdom. I have given you the authority. I have given you the power. And now I am liberating you from any abuse, from any carnality. I'm delivering you from any type of mental um, instability. Woo, hallelujah. And then praise the name of Jesus. Let's go to John chapter 11. I'm bringing this to a close. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord, the fire of God is in my bones today. I feel it all over my body. Oh, oh, just praise Him with me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. In John chapter 11, we find a man um, that was very sick. In verse 4 of 11, uh, Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Hallelujah. You know, I believe that Mary believed that, but I don't think Martha did. Oh, hallelujah. And then they go, in verse 11, it says, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may wake him up. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus delivers from the grave. He delivers you from death. Hallelujah. He has delivered me from death over and over and over again. And I give him all the praise. Hallelujah. But there could be those physical chains. Oh, death is a physical chain that comes onto the body and it locks you up. Hallelujah. And it causes you not to be able to go forward and not to be able to do uh, what God has called you to do. Some of you, he has killed. He has tried to kill your ministry. He has tried to tell you that you don't have a part uh, in what's going on in the body of Christ. And let me tell you something. The devil is a liar. That's the truth. Let every man be a liar, but let God be the truth. In the name of Jesus. And in verse 13, how be it Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of him just taking a rest. And then Jesus said very plainly in 14, then he said unto them, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent that you might believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Hallelujah. And we know the story. When he got there, Martha argued with him. Oh, it's not good to argue with Jesus. It's not good to argue with the word of God. If the word of God is saying something to you today, receive it and move on it. Hear it and do it. Hallelujah. And then verse 25, I love this. I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus knew who he was. Do you know who you are? You are to imitate your father. You are to imitate. You are to do the works of Jesus and even greater works. Why? Because you've got the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are to go forth and to do the work of the kingdom. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe you this? Do you believe it, Martha? Hallelujah. And then he said, 
Take away the stone. Let's take away the stone. And she's, oh, but Lord, he's been in there four days. Surely he's going to stink by now. The man that I went to the hospital, his name was Mark. He had been in a coma for four days. But the Lord sent me to raise him up. Hallelujah. Because Mark had never really accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. So I went. And just like Jesus went, oh, to raise up Lazarus. Hallelujah. And in verse 41, he says, Father, I thank you that you hear me. Jesus was saying, oh, Father, I know that you hear me. Hallelujah. And I knew that you hear us me always. But because of all these people standing by, I want to say it so they will believe that you have sent me. And then when he had spoken, he cried with a real tiny little small voice. Is that what the word says? Is that what your word says right here? It says, and he thus spoke and he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. And here he comes. Here comes Lazarus out of the tomb. Can you see it? Do you have a visual on that? Hallelujah, here he comes, hopping out. But he's all bound up. And some of you are Christians and you believe in Jesus Christ. But let me tell you something, I see grave clothes on you. I see you bound up with religious uh, traditions and doctrines of men. Oh, hallelujah. And I see a mindset uh, that is uh, that has you all bound up in, in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, loose him and let him go. Jesus is the one who sets the captives free. Hallelujah. And because he lives in you, and you have the power and the authority through the Holy Spirit. You can go forth and be a liberator just like Jesus. Hallelujah. As he is, so are we in this earth. You've got a job to do, people. So get up and do it. Do what God is telling you to do. Loose him and let him go. Remember those three things. Liberation comes with TLC. It comes through the truth of the Word of God. And it comes through the love of God. Receiving the love of God. And it comes through the cross. Hallelujah. This day, people are being set free. You're being set free. I see a person running around their house. Hallelujah. You just keep on running. You just keep on rejoicing. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I see somebody leaping up and down. I see another person crying uh, with your head on the floor. Uh, you're worshiping the Lord today uh, for deliverance. For setting you free. Oh, hallelujah. There's a, a woman who's been painful. You've been painting all your, you've had pain all over your body. Uh, in the name of Jesus, you've had pain in your muscles, pain in your back, pain in your neck, pain, uh, headaches. You've had it all over your body, but it's gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. All over the world, Lord, I thank you for healing. And, and liberation. I thank you for freedom. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. This day. You have come into your church. And you have set us free. In Jesus name. God bless you today.